So, um, when looking at this last problem, this one is number 46. This one's going to be another problem that's going to be dealing with sequences, Wendy. It says an auditorium has 48 rows of seats. All right, the first row has 20 seats. So let's just go and kind of draft this up. So we could say that first row has 20, the second row has 22, third row has 24, and it's just going to keep on getting larger and larger and larger times that, right? Yes? OK. So what we need to do is they're asking how many total rows. The auditorium has 48 rows of seats. The first row is 20 seats. The additional row is two seats more. So how many seats are in the auditorium? So what we need to do is we need to figure out, we need to figure out the series of this, right? So we know that sigma, we're going to start with the first row. We're going to end with the 48th row. But for to do this, we need to figure out what is going to be our rule. And then I'll actually even show you guys a sum that we can use for the rest of this. But we need to figure out um, a rule. And I didn't really go, we didn't go through this really with you guys. But we, to figure out this rule, there's a couple different things we can do. One formula that we use, which I have over here, is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 over d. All right. Um, and when using this rule, what we can look at is you guys can say we want to figure out what uh, a sub n is, which is the rule. We know a sub 1 equals 20 plus n, which is 48. I'm sorry, what am I trying to figure out? I already know. I'm not trying to figure out n. I want to figure out the rule. So it's 20 plus n minus 1 times our difference, which is 2. So the rule is a sub n equals 2n plus 18. So now what I can go ahead and figure out is I need to figure out to find the sum um, what I need to do is I need to figure out, I need to use the sum formula, which is sum of n equals. So you could do this. Sorry. So you guys could do this for all 48 terms, right? Plug in 1, plug in 2, plug in 3, plug in 4. But that's going to take you a very long time to go all the way up to 48, right? So there is another formula that we introduced that I'm kind of introducing to you right here. So the other formula is s of n, all right, is n divided by 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n, where n is the number of rows. So the sum of 48 rows is going to equal 48 divided by 2 times a sub 1, which is 20, plus a sub n. Well, to figure out a sub n, I need to do 2 times a sub 48 <coughs> equals 2 times uh, 48 plus 8. So 2 times 48 is going to be 96, plus 8 is going to be 104. 18. Oh, uh, yeah, it's 18. Thank you. So we have 96. Um, 96, which would be, no, yeah. 96 plus uh, 18, which would be 106, would be 114. So plus 20 would be 134. This becomes uh, 14 or 48 divided by 2 is 24. So 24 times 134. Anybody in their calculator have 24 times 134 equals? So there you go. That is the sum of the number of rows. With 48 rows, as long as it keeps on increasing by 2. OK? Um, yeah. Don't uh, wouldn't really worry so much about a problem like that. Obviously, if we had more time, I would have entered.